So in this Baltimore Ravens news and rumors video, I want to talk about the latest news regarding DeAndre Hopkins and the Baltimore Ravens. Leave your thoughts down below. Let's get right into it. So JPA Football on Twitter tweeted out rumors. DeAndre Hopkins to the Baltimore Ravens is still possible, despite already signing Odell Beckham Jr. per Adam Pacman Jones on the Pat McAfee show. Lamar Jackson reportedly asked Baltimore to acquire both wide receivers. So I think a lot of Ravens fans out there, you know, myself included as well, um, not that I'm a Raven fan but just you know just saying in general uh thought that by them signing obj to a pretty you know long term or not really long term contract but a pretty expensive contract a uh, one year uh, up to 18 million dollars if he hits his three incentives uh, it probably ruled them out of the i guess running for deandre hopkins who is available on the trade market and he also could be rum uh, rumored to be getting released and becoming a free agent but according to adam pacman jones it doesn't seem like the baltimore ravens are closing the door on the possibility of signing or trading for uh, deandre hopkins Hopkins of the Arizona Cardinals. It was reported a couple days ago as well that Lamar Jackson uh, did ask the Baltimore Ravens front office to acquire both Odo Beckham Jr. and DeAndre Hopkins, but uh, with one of those dominoes falling, could the other fall? I guess only time will tell. It's going to be pretty tough for them, in my opinion, uh, to acquire both DeAndre Hopkins and Odo Beckham Jr. Um, because of just the financial details, uh, along with to re-signing Lamar Jackson. It's just a lot of money to give to these, star to these players who, you know, it's hard to be fitting all these players into the same roster, but I guess only time will tell if it's possible, but that's sort of the latest regarding DeAndre Hopkins and the Baltimore Ravens. So let's take a look here at DeAndre Hopkins stats from the past season as well as his career. Now in 2022, not the best season for DeAndre Hopkins. He missed the first bit uh, with that suspension, then missed a little bit later on in the year with an injury. So the last couple of years for DeAndre Hopkins haven't exactly been super smooth in regards to his availability, uh, and that's never a good thing coming with an older player too, because DeAndre Hopkins, I do believe, is around 30. 31 years old for the 2023 season so it's never really a good sign that a player is missing time with injuries prior to that uh, because typically speaking it doesn't get much better now uh, in you know as you can tell in 2022 uh, nine games played 64 receptions so actually not bad numbers there uh, for 717 yards 11.2 yards per reception three touchdowns uh, and overall just not a really a fantastic year for DeAndre Hopkins standards now uh, last year for Arizona was quite turbulent with the, uh, with Kyler Murray getting injured and it being a bit of a dumpster fire afterwards so uh, you can't really blame DeAndre Hopkins for his year in 2022 uh, I think at this point he's a tremendous wide receiver still uh, definitely a top five caliber talent in this league I think him going to the right situation and potentially a change of scenery for him uh, such as Baltimore for example uh, could get the most out of him and I still think he has a little bit more left in the tank uh, for DeAndre Hopkins in his NFL career so uh, those are just sort of the latest stats regarding DeAndre Hopkins uh, as they pertain to his career in 2022 now in case you're curious as well uh, these are these are the details on a DeAndre Hopkins contract. Uh, as you can tell, he has two years remaining um, at a cap hit of 30 point, almost 31 million dollars uh, in 2023, and a cap hit of 26.2 million dollars in 2024. Now, if you actually look at the money owed uh, on the right column here, uh, just under 20 million dollars in 2023 uh, at 19 and a half, uh, and just under 15 million dollars in 2024. Uh, so he does, you know, he is owed about 34 million dollars, 35 million dollars um, over the next two seasons. So uh, financially speaking, getting DeAndre Hopkins at, at his current contract is pretty expensive. Uh, I'm not really too sure how the Ravens would be able to make this work. As I mentioned before, uh, signing OBJ to a one-year contract uh, between 15 and $18 million is already pretty expensive as it is. If you throw on a player like DeAndre Hopkins, who was owed you know, almost $20 million in 2023, and you got to sign Lamar Jackson, it's not typically a good scenario uh, for the Ravens to be in. Having a lot of money owed to either injury-prone players or expensive, or sorry, or, or older players, uh, which would be Lamar Jackson, DeAndre Hopkins, and Odell Beckham Jr. But uh, so, you know, financially speaking, I'm not too sure how the Ravens would make this work. So it'd have to be a little bit of a hurdle for them there. If you have any idea, leave your thoughts down below. But that's sort of the latest regarding DeAndre Hopkins and his contract situation. So taking a look here at the current Baltimore Ravens depth chart, according to ESPN.com, uh, in regards to their offense, the addition of OBJ definitely makes this wide receiving room a lot better. But it's still far from elite, in my personal opinion. Uh, having Lamar Jackson, assuming that he is the quarterback come opening day, um, you know, is hopefully a good thing for them. But uh, there's still a chance that Lamar Jackson does in fact get traded if his contract demands are not quite met. Now, uh, J.K. Dobbins, of course, is not a terrible running back when healthy. The only problem is sort of like DeAndre Hopkins. The last couple years, he hasn't really been healthy. Uh, Rashad Bateman, Odell Beckham Jr., and Devin Duvernay 
it's not a terrible wide receiving core don't get me wrong it's just not super elite doesn't really compare to some other wide receiving cores out there uh, i think the addition of deandre hopkins definitely makes this team better and it gives lamar jackson a lot more options in the passing game uh they also do have you know mark andrews and patrick ricard so uh, this offense for uh, baltimore could actually look pretty fun in 2023 uh, with the addition of deandre hopkins uh, their defense is pretty solid as well and obviously to their special teams is pretty elite with justin tucker there leading the charge but yeah uh deandre hopkins uh, going to the Baltimore Ravens would definitely make this team better but how much better your guess is as good as mine leave your thoughts down below so that's going to be it for this video thanks again for watching these are just sort of the latest DeAndre Hopkins Baltimore Ravens news and rumors for the 2023 season leave your thoughts down below thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one